Hey there, guys, and welcome back to 1949. We have the Giants of the Reds, and uh, you know which team is favored here. We don't have to say too much about it. We'll look at the standings here really quickly. The Giants are 11 games ahead of the Pirates and the Dodgers. Giants are 41 and 15. The Reds, meanwhile, 25 and 30. They're 15 and a half games back, but they're not quite as close to the last place as they were in real life at this time, as you can tell by the thumbnail to this video. Uh, so uh, not much of a uh, race here in the National League, but uh, that's the reason why we play these games, and we'll see what happens in this one. It's going to be Howie Fox on the mound up against uh, Whitey Lockman. And uh, Lock Lockman leads off, and uh, he hits a little fly ball over to left field. It'll be Rurostek uh, making that catch for the out. And I'll show you a little bit of what I do here. So uh, you may have noticed this if you've been watching these games. We like to take uh, this uh, screen of the uh, game, uh, in-game screen itself, and we like to uh, move it a little bit uh, further down, take away some of the uh, window stuff up on the side. Hopefully that looks at least a little bit better for you, so it's a slightly more uh, visible experience. There's a strike to Willard Marshall, 0-1. Last on the right field line, Littweiler gets over there into the corner, and that'll hold uh, Marshall to a single, but he's aboard. So now Sid Gordon comes up, hitting 315. The pitcher, Howie Fox, has given up a hit now today. 2.99 the ERA, once you count that third of an inning he's had. 3-4 and four is his record. He's walked 20, struck out 24. Like every pitcher in 1949, he has a hard time with his control, and there's a ball outside to Gordon. That's a ball in the middle, 2-0. Oh. Fouled away, 2-1. And this is hit to left. Wirostek makes that catch for the out two away, and that'll bring up the great Scott. Thompson has seven home runs, uh, 498 the slugging percentage, and so he has quite a bit of power, hitting 317. And there's a high bounder in the infield. Bloodworth fields that and flips over to Klazuski, who uh, throws to who uh, goes to the bag or is at the bag for the out. And uh, we go now to the bottom of the first inning. There's no score. And here comes Dave Costello, 9-2 his record as he throws a strike in there to Klazuski. 2.65 ERA. Uh, 16 walks is all 40 strikeouts. Dave Costello has been the uh, big hero here so far for the uh, Giants as far as pitching is concerned. Fouled away by uh, big old Ted. You can see those biceps uh, when you uh, close your eyes. It's 0-2. And, and that's high, 1-2. and two. Knuckler misses. And this is foul straight back. Remains 2-2 two two there on Klazuski. And uh, he did not uh, swing. He held up, so it's a full count. This is fouled away. Crosley Field, of course, very small. And there's a swing and a miss on the high curveball by Kazuski, and there's one away, first strikeout for Koslo. Small ballpark, 328 down the left field line, 342 down the right. Kind of an oddly shaped outfield, but uh, not really 400 feet anywhere. And there's a ball to Littweiler. Good breaking ball, misses. 2-0. and Swing, but that's fouled away. 2-1 and now. And that's a ground ball. Mize, the first baseman, uh, makes the play and flips over to the pitcher covering the bag, and there's two away. Here's the big man, Walker Cooper, and he lines one to the pitcher, and Costello ends up grabbing that one before it does any damage. And before we can tell you much about Cooper, we go to the top of the second, and it's a uh, scoreless ball game. Here comes Johnny Mize for the Giants. He takes a strike. He's hitting 263, which matches real life exactly. 0 oh, 2 now as he fouled one away. And said to right center field, gets to the wall between Merriman and Livweiler. It's Livweiler who grabs it, but uh, Mize is in at second base. That brings up Bill Rigney with uh, that runner on at second. 346 is what Bill's hitting. Bill Rigney, 20 RBIs so far and 159 at bat. And uh, he has two home runs as well, and he swings and misses at that low fastball. Ground ball to short. Stalkup looks Mize back to the bag and throws to first. There's one away. Here comes Ray Mueller. And uh, there's a pickoff play at second. Wrong button by me. And there's a ball high and tight to Mueller. Mueller, of course, uh, part of that uh, catcher for catcher trade. So Mueller, all of a sudden, on a team that is competing for the pennant, and Cooper is on a team competing for last place. 2 0 the count. And there's ball three outside. And now a strike. 3 and 1. And that's inside for ball four, and that'll bring up Buddy Kerr. Buddy Kerr comes up. He's hitting 240. Kerr uh, very likely to bunt. In fact, we'll uh, be in on the corners for him. And there's a strike, 0-1, oh and, and a ball high to him. Ground ball left side, and that got through that infield, and uh, that will load him up. So up comes Dave Costello. The uh, Reds are kind of desperate here. They'll come home with it, and there's a ball low to Dave. Now a strike, 1-1. 
hit over to center, and it's going to be caught there by uh, Merriman. Mize tags up, and uh, Merriman will throw home, and it's a high throw, so the runners all advance. Probably should not have thrown home. one nothing now the score, and that desperation to uh, try to prevent the uh, run from scoring, and it looks like business as usual for the Reds. Here comes Whitey uh, Lockman, and he takes a uh, strike outside corner. That curve is high, 1-1 one one the count. 294 is what Whitey's hitting. 2-1 and one now the count on him. Getting on base somewhat, and there's ball three, so it's a 3-1 count. And that's, ooh, fouled away inside pitch. He doesn't walk that much, that's his problem. And there's a ball down and in. As soon as I say the magic words, then he goes to first base on the walk. How about that? So that'll bring up uh, Marshall, Willard Marshall, hitting 316, 10 home runs. And there's a sinker outside, 1-0. and oh. Fouled away, it's 1-1. One one. Way inside, 2-1 and one the count on Marshall. Ground ball to third. Hatton grabs it, goes to the bag himself for the out, and that does it. We go to the bottom of the second inning. No score, or one nothing Giants, I'm sorry. And here comes uh, Johnny Wierostek. That's a ball high to Wierostek by uh, Coslo and a beautiful breaking ball. I tell you, Dave keeps throwing that. He's going to be the best pitcher in this league. Fly ball over to center. Thompson's got a one away. Jimmy Bloodworth. And if you've been wondering, run, wondering about Newcomb as Bloodworth hits a, a ground ball to Rigney, throws to first, two away. Don Newcomb has not pitched as well as he probably should, but his problem is that the Dodgers are not scoring runs. Oh, and won the count on Hatton. Ripped down the right field line, and that one is a double, and that's the first base hit of the game for the Reds. And Costello uh, threw a, a high breaking ball, and that's what did it. Merriman now takes a fastball off the plate, and then a strike. Good breaking ball that time. High and inside, it's 2-0 on Lloyd. Ground ball to first. Mize grabs that and flips over to Costello for the out. And so we go to the top of the third inning, and it's a 1-0 uh, lead for the Giants. Here now is Sid Gordon. There's a ball high and outside to Sid. And then a strike. It's 1-1. One one. He's hitting 313, having a good season. And that's fouled away. 1-2. One, one of the many reasons why the Giants are playing so well that's a ground ball to short. Stalkup fielded that one on a bad hop. Uh, had to jump up to grab that. Threw over to first, still in time. Good play by the good shortstop. One away. Now Bobby Thompson, he pops that one up. Wirostek, the left fielder, comes in for that. There's two away, and here comes Johnny Mize. Fouled away. And foul back. 0-2 oh, on Johnny. Way inside with the fastball. Sinker ball is low. 2-2. Two and two. Bounced wide at first, Klazuski grabs that, and then he's able to get to the bag by himself for the out. Go to the bottom of the third inning, one nothing Giants with the lead, and here comes Virgil Stalkup. So the last game was a close one. There's a swing and a miss by Stalkup, and then a curve outside. One and one now the count. Last game between these two teams uh, was a, a close one. I'm trying to uh, open up my uh, notes here on the side um, and see if I what I wrote, if anything. And, of course, I didn't write very much about it. But uh, the last game that these uh, two teams played, as you'll recall, was a close one. The Giants winning that one at the very end. 2-1 two and one now the call, count on Stall Cup, and that's fouled away. It's 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. So uh, Costello gets his second strikeout, and that'll bring up Howie Fox, the pitcher. Howie takes a ball. 129 is his average, and there's a ground ball down the first base line. Mize can't get to that, and that's going to be a double, his second of the season. So Fox surprises everybody by getting a double off of Koslo. That'll bring up Kluzewski. Still one nothing Giants. This is fouled away. There's a ball low. Hits the left center. Thompson, the center fielder, has that for the out. Are you crazy? We're not sending Fox anywhere. That doesn't make sense. Two away, and that'll bring up Danny Lowweiler. That's a ball high. Blast to the left center. Lockman going back into the uh, gap there and makes the catch for the out. And that was close. Costello got away with one there. We'll go to the top of the fourth inning, and it's a 1-0 lead here for the Giants. And up comes Bill Rigney. That's a sinker low to Rigney. And a curve wide. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. And there's ball three that misses, and that's up and in for ball four. That'll bring up Ray Mueller. So Howie Fox getting himself into trouble. He has walked three. He hasn't struck out anybody. He's not fooling anyone. And this is fouled away. Uh, Rigney was going with the pitch. And that's a ball. One and one the count. We'll throw it to first. And uh, Rigney barely getting back. We'll try it again. And uh, I think we will try a little pitch out. Let's see what happens. Nothing happening. So it's a 2-1 count on Miller. Ground ball to Klazuski, who goes over to uh, second for one. Skull Cup's re return throw is not in time, and uh, there's one away. Here comes Buddy Kerr. The ball high to Kerr. 
And that's fouled away, one and one. Off the play, two and one. And there's a strike, two and two to Kerr. That's high for ball three. Fouled away. And that's fouled down the first base line, out of play. Fouled away again, full count remains. And that's fouled away again, so it remains full on Kerr. That changeup is high, and so Kerr gets the, uh, n another walk, and that now will bring up Dave Costello. Costello today um, has, uh, I think he, uh, did he walk the first time? What exactly happened here the first time up? Um, he got an RBI here. I think he hit a ground out, probably fielder's choice or something like that. It's hard to remember. Um, so Costello um, has the one RBI for today. And he hits a uh, pop-up towards the mound, and that one is caught by Fox, who then turns around and uh, throws to uh, the uh, shortstop Stalkup covering a second to catch Miller off the bag. And so, uh, so much for the new uh, Tigers catch or for the new Giants catcher. We go now to the uh, bottom of the fourth inning, and it's uh, still a one nothing lead for the Giants. Here comes Walker Cooper. Ball outside to Cooper, and there's a swing and a miss at a strike low. Get over to right. Marshall's got that one away. Wirostag now takes the ball low. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. And that's off the play. Two and one the count. And he checked his swing. Didn't go around, they say. Three and one. That's fouled off. Full count now on Johnny. And that is high for ball four. That'll bring up uh, Jimmy Bloodworth. So Bloodworth comes up with the uh, runner on a first base. And do we swing away or do we bunt? That's the question. He has the ability to bunt. I'm not sure which uh, hitter is actually better than which. Hatton has a little bit more power, so maybe we will bunt. We'll see what happens. It's a bunt down the left side. Gordon, the third baseman, runs in, grabs that. His only play for his base. Wirostek is safe at second. It's a two away, and here comes Hatton, and we'll see if that strategy works. There's a strike, another good breaking ball by Costello. He's had a number of those, and the curve wide. Line to right field alley, and that one's in there. Wirostek will score, and Hatton gets the double. How about that? So we took the chance, and it worked. Hatton with his second hit of the game, and it's a 1-1 ball game. Here comes Lloyd Merriman. Now you wouldn't expect the Giants, the way they've been playing, as Merriman takes the ball high, you wouldn't expect them to have a hard time with Cincinnati. Hit to the right field, and Thompson goes over and grabs that one for the out, but it is a brand-new ball game. We go to the top of the fifth inning, and it's 1-1, and here comes Whitey Lockman. It's a ball high there to Whitey. He's a little bit south of 300. There's a strike to him, and that's one low and away. Hit to the gap and right, and that'll help his average. That's an easy double there for Lockman, and that'll bring up Willard Marshall. And this top part of the Giants uh, lineup has been doing so much damage um, here in the uh, regular season. So Marshall comes up hitting 314, 10 home runs, and he's driven in 29. He takes a strike from Fox. That's pu pushed off foul to the right side. It's 0-2 now on Marshall. And there's a sinking uh, ball, a sinker outside, one and two. Ten home runs versus 12 in real life, and he's not even halfway through his at-bats. Two and two. That's fouled away. Plate appearances, I don't know, it doesn't tell me this on the screen. I know that's what we care about, and it's a full count. So Fox is behind again. He's walked four, struck out none, and he's really struggling. That's a little pop-up over to center. Merriman comes in for that, coming in, coming in, and makes the catch, one away. Here now is Sid Gordon. One away, and uh, Fox looking at this, 76 uh, pitches, 44 for strikes, but that's a number of balls, isn't it? There's a strike on the changeup to Gordon, and that's fouled away, 0-2. And, and he went around, tried to check his swing, he couldn't. So there's two away, and here comes Thompson. Bobby takes the ball high. Not the guy you want to face with a runner on in scoring position, and that's a pop-up outside of first. Kluzewski goes over, ranges over, makes the catch for the out. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and it's still a 1-1 ball game. This is a pitcher's duel, and here comes uh, Virgil Stalkup, who takes a strike from Coslo. And that's fouled away. 0 oh, 2. Swung at a ball, and that's a pop up, and uh, Miller can't get there. Still 1 and 2. 0 oh, 2, I'm sorry. And there's a ground ball to Rigney. Second baseman fields it and throws to first. 1 away. Howie Fox takes a ball outside. And there's a ground ball to first. Mize grabs that and goes to the bag. 2 away, and here comes Klazuski. The bouncer in the dirt to Ted. And that's fouled away by him. 1 and 1. Popped up, wide of third, Gordon, no more room. One and two the count. Line to center field, but Thompson's there, and he has that one for the third out. 
you go to the top of the sixth inning and it's a 1-1 ball game and it'll be Johnny Mize up there for the Giants. And he takes the strike in the outside corner. It's fouled away. It's 0-2 now on Mize. As line to right field, and that one had something under it and it ended up holding up for Littweiler. There's one away. Bill Rigney will come up now and he hits one up the middle. Uh, Stalkup feels that, throws to first, but not in time nowhere near. And so Rigney is safe with the uh, infield hit, and here comes the new guy, Mueller. He's hitting 200. Not hitting well against righties, and he takes the ball high. It's fouled away, one and one. Foul back again. Down ball to short. Stalkup, Bloodworth, Kozuski, and that does it. So uh, we go to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning, and it's still a 1-1 ball game. Here comes uh, Danny Litweiler against Dave Koslow. Takes the ball high. Koslow has pitched very well. High and outside. Hit down the left field line. Boy, that's deep, but foul. One, two, and one. Little ground ball to short. Kerr, great play. Throws to first in plenty of time. One away. And here comes Walker Cooper. Ground ball to Mize at first. Goes to the bag himself. Two away. And here comes Wirostack. Ground ball over to Kerr. The shortstop cheating towards the middle. Has that one. He knew where that was going and throws to first for the out. Go to the top of the seventh inning. It's still a one-to-one ball game. Here now is Buddy Kerr. Kerr takes a strike, first pitch fastball, and another one down the heart of the play at 0-2. There's a sinker low, 1-2. and two. He's 1-for-1 one one today, and there's another ball to him, 2-2. Two and two. Roller to the right, right side, Bloodworth fields that, flips over to Klazuski, and there's one away. Pitcher Koslo takes a strike. And swing and a miss, 0-2. And, and that's low, 1-2. and two. And there's strike three, he didn't even swing. That's Fox's second strike out of the game, and that'll bring up Whitey Lockman. Bouncing ball off the ground, glove of Kluzewski. Bloodworth can't get there, and that's a single for Lockman. So Lockman now two for three. That'll bring up Willard Marshall, and here come the Giants. Two out top of the seventh, and there's a ground ball over to short. Stalkup fields that one easily, go, throws to first for the out. And we go now to the bottom of the seventh inning. It's a 1-1 ball game, and up is Jimmy Bloodworth, and he takes the ball off the plate. 0 for 1 today, had a walk, 2-0 and now. That's low, 3-0. and I'm sorry he didn't walk. He may have bunted. That's what happened. And there's ball four. So Costello throws him four straight balls. And on comes Grady Hatton. He's only two for two. Hitting now 271. And he drove in that run. Remember that? That's when we had Bloodworth bunt. And Wirostek was on second and scored. There's a ball low to Hatton. And a strike at the letters. One and one. Fouled away. One and two the count. Fly ball to center, right center. Thompson running after that one, and he won't get there. That's a single for Hatton. Bloodworth over to third. That'll bring up Lloyd Merriman. Lloyd Merriman uh, hitting 196, and so we'll swing away for him. Not much of a bunter, not much of an anything, and he takes the ball. And that's a line base hit to right field, and he's trying to show me up. Hatton goes to third. Merriman with the clutch single, and that makes us a 2-1 to one lead for the Giants. And Kossel is wondering where his luck went. Up is Virgil Stallcup, and I think we'll have Stallcup uh, sacrifice Merriman over. And that's bunted foul at the plate. And that's bunted towards first. Mize races in. He grabs it, tags Stallcup, and Merriman able to go to second. Hatton bluffing down the line, but doesn't go anywhere. And up comes now Howie Fox. We'll keep Howie in this game. Lined over third base, Lockman is going after it but can't get there, and Fox has two hits and two RBIs, scores both runs, and it's now a 4-1 to one lead for the Reds. So the Giants really having it coming to them, and it's not because of Cooper this time, believe it or not. Here comes Ted Kluzewski with the runner on at first. Kluzewski 0 for 8 in this series, fouls one away, and takes the ball 1-1. and one. And That's a pop-up out of play, 1-2. and two. Fouled away again, 1-2. and two. That's outside. Two and two the count now on Ted, and that's a ground ball, first baseline, but foul. Fouled off the catcher. Up the middle for a base hit, and so Klazuski's uh, small slump ends, and that'll bring up now Danny Litweiler. Dave Kostler now with 87 pitches is all, but um, he's given up three runs here in the uh, bottom of the seventh, losing four to one, and there's a ball in the dirt to Litweiler, and that's high, two and oh, and Kostler falling apart. High and inside, 3-0, and, oh, and we'll take this pitch. And there's ball four way outside. They're going to have to take Hostel out, and they do. And it'll be Red Webb coming in with the bases loaded. Webb, a right-handed pitcher, 1.40 ERA. 19 and a third pitched and has a 1-0 and oh record with three saves. He's going to need to get a win here. And here comes Cooper with the bases jammed. 
He's 0 for 8 in this series. Takes the ball high up against the team that uh, traded him away. Ground ball to uh, short. Kerr, great play. Off balance throw to second in time, and that uh, gets one, but a run scores. And so Cooper has driven in a run, uh, but will not get a hit, of course, and that'll bring up Johnny Wirostek. 5 to 1 now the score. There's a ball high to Wirostek, and that's inside. Popped up, and it's going to be Kerr again. I tell you, Kerr has been a, a human vacuum machine out there at shortstop. He's getting everything coming to him. I guess we'll go here to the uh, top of the eighth inning. I guess they didn't have many vacuum machines in 49. Here is Sid Gordon. That would have been a pretty new invention if I understand right. Maybe a Hoover. And it's 2-0 and now on Gordon. Fox over 100 pitches. This is fouled away 2-1, and but he's the offensive hero, and this is hit up the middle for a base hit. Fox, two base hits today as a pitcher, um, as a batter, that is, and there's a ball to Thompson. That's low, 2-0, and but uh, we'll see if Howie falls apart now that he's done a good job. 2-1 and the count, and that's wide. It's 3-1 and on Bobby. And that's wide again. Fox has walked five, and so that brings up Johnny Mize. Now, these Giants can come back in a hurry, and there's a ball to, to Mize, 1-0, and and there's a strike, an off-speed pitch. Line toward third, but Hatton grabs that one, one away, and up is Bill Rigney. There's a ball. One for two is Rigney. 348. And he swings and misses. One and one. And that's fouled away. One and two. Pop up and Bloodworth has that one. Another good pitch by Fox. Two away. I think he got into his kitchen with that one. Infield pop up. So two away and here comes Ray Mueller. Mueller was just traded away and he's not going to even get to bat. It'll be Jack Lork uh, up against the uh, right-handed Fox. And that's a jam job but that's just foul. 0 oh and one. Round up the middle for a base hit. Gordon will score. Thompson goes over to third. It's a 5-2 to two lead, and up comes Buddy Kerr. And what are the Reds going to do? We are going to leave Fox in maybe for one more, see what happens. There's a strike to Kerr. And there's a strike in the outside corner. Changeup just misses. 1-2 and two the count. Just fouled away. Popped up, but out of play. Bounce over to Stalkup, goes to Bloodworth for the out. So the Reds do get out of it. We go to the uh, bottom of the eighth inning now. It's a 5-2 uh, to two lead, and here comes Jimmy Bloodworth. Ball inside to Jimmy. Ground ball up the middle. Kerr, shortstop over to first, no problem. One away. Grady Hatton now. Three for three and takes the ball high. Swing and a miss, one and one. He's the other hero of the day. Two and one now, the count on him. There's ball three way outside, and so he'll be waiting for this. There's another strike, full count. Chopped up the middle. Kerr, a uh, good play, throws the first four of the out. I tell you, anything on the ground up near the middle is done by Kerr. Sid Gordon has a poor rating at third base, but you can't tell because Kerr will just go over and get the ball. And Merriman comes up, lobs that one over Rigney's head for a base hit, and that'll bring up Virgil Stallcup. So a little bit of a rally maybe in the bottom of the eighth or two outs for the Reds. One to win the count now on Stallcup. Ground ball over to Gordon. Three hopper. Fields that one easily. Throws the first for the out. And we'll go to the top of the ninth. And uh, Howie Fox will stay out there. It'll be Bobby Hoffman coming in. And he takes a ball outside. There's a strike. One and one. Only nine at bats so far this season. Two and one the count. That one missed badly. And there's a sinker of the knees. It's two and two. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout for Fox. One away. And here comes Whitey Lockman. There's a called strike, 0-1 oh, on Whitey, and there's a ball low, 1-1. One one. High, it's 2-1 and one now on Lockman. Head over to left center, but Merriman goes over there and grabs it, 2 away, and up comes Willard Marshall, and he hits one foul. Fouled off of Cooper's mask, 0-2. Oh, Jam job, roller over to second, Bloodworth has that and throws to first for the out, so the Reds uh, win the second game of this series against the Giants, 5-2. Is that going to halt the New York's progress? Well, we'll see. They're only 10 and a half games up now here on June 15th. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the season. We'll do it slowly, and you'll be along for the ride. Uh, but uh, for this one, at least the uh, Reds win 5-2. to two. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.